this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my June Q&A. Um, I've had a lot of friends asking me what I, uh, what, asking me questions and stuff to do f for this Q&A, so, um, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first question is from, uh, my dad. He asks, what do you want for your birthday? Um, I'm not for sure, uh, probably, um, I'm trying to think, maybe, I guess maybe like a gift card to eBay or something, because I'm not exactly sure what I want, um, there's quite a few movies out that I wouldn't mind having, um, Shazam, which it's not out yet, but it's on the, it'll be out in a couple of weeks, um, Jordan Peele's Us, um, those are couple that I I want um, but yeah uh, so that's what I probably want for my birthday next is a question from my maxi pad loving friend Troy Willis he asked me a really stupid question that I don't even know how to answer he said if you could remake any movie using maxi pads for the sets and characters what movie would you remake I don't think I'd remake any movies with maxi pads. Uh, it just would be really dumb. I mean, making a movie that's made out of maxi pads alone is a dumb idea. But making a remake of a classic movie with them is just even stupider. So, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even bother trying to remake a movie with maxi pads. It just is really dumb. Um, so. Yeah, sorry Troy, but that, that's just a really stupid question. Next is from Chelsea. What's your biggest fear? Uh, probably heights, I guess. I don't, I mean, I, I don't know. A lot of, I, either heights or clowns. I don't know which one I'm more scared of. If you were to put me up at the top of a tall building and have a clown there, I don't, I probably would just die of a heart attack. But uh, I actually really don't know which one, well, which one I'm more scared of, though. Probably heights, though. Um, yeah. Next is from Aaron from Miles E. Movies. Um, he asked, if you could turn any movie franchise into a cinematic universe like Marvel, DC, or The Conjuring, what would you choose to do and why? Um... I know this is going to sound crazy, but I probably want to do like the three big Guilty Pleasure franchises that I like a lot. Uh, Fast and the Furious, Jurassic Park, and uh, Transformers. I, I don't know what it is, but the thought of having the T-Rex and the Optimus Prime and Vin Diesel all in a big movie like that together, it just sounds like it'd be a total blast and everything, and it'd be cool if they got The Rock in there too. So. Uh, yeah, I just have to say that. I just and I would just call it the turn your brain off, brain off guilty pleasure, popcorn flick French universe franchise or whatever. Um, but yeah, that that's those are the ones I would like to see as a universe, I guess. Next is from my friend Marcus. He actually had quite a few questions. Um, the first one is, what animated feature would you like to see get the Disney live action treatment and why? Uh, well, I think they're making it, uh, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I would love to see that one as a live action movie. Uh, I'd like to see them do it. The animated version was already really dark. I'd, I'd like to see them go even darker and everything with the uh, live action movie. Maybe cut out the gargoyles that were just there for comic relief. And everything so yeah that'd be one that's the main one that I really want to see a live-action version of I think I don't I don't think there's any other ones that I'm extremely excited to have them do live-action ones of maybe the Emperor's New Groove but I don't I don't see them doing that and having it work really good though um, next one is what horror classic would you like to see be remade I actually don't think I have any that I want to see remade. I, uh, and everything. Well, actually, I take it back. There is one. Uh, 
if they could figure out how to do it right, uh, do Cujo, but that one's going to be a hard one to remake and everything, because I'd like to see them do it where it's like the book, but it's going to be a really difficult one to make, because in the book it goes inside the dog's mind and everything, so I, I don't see how they could really do it, unless they did like Homeward Bound style and made it where like you could hear the dog's thoughts. If they did that, that'd be pretty cool. And get someone like maybe Mark Hamill or something to do the voice of Cujo. Um, next is uh, next question. Come on, stupid computer. Sorry. Um, Are you going to do an uh, all-month horror-thon this year in October? Not more than likely. I usually always do. Um, now I'm planning this October to be watching and reviewing all of the Halloween movies. So, more than likely I'll be watching those. And I've got some other horror movies that I haven't watched yet that I'm saving till October to watch. And the next one is, who would you like to see cast as the Fantastic Four in the MCU? Um, oh, that's a good one. Uh, for Mr. Fantastic, um, oh man, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Keanu Reeves. I know he's in his 50s, but he really doesn't look like it. He could, he could make a good Mr. Fantastic. Um, Invisible Woman, that's a good one. Um, Trying to think, maybe, uh, well, I know a lot of people have said, uh, um, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. I could see them, maybe, but I don't know that I'd really think. I really think she would fit for Sue Storm. Uh. Man, this is a good question. It's got me stumped. Uh, I see Keanu Reeves. Um, trying to think of someone who would be good as. I don't know. On Sue Storm, I'll, I'll go back to her. Uh, for Human Torch, easily Zach Efron. He, he, uh, I've been saying for th ever since I found out the MC was going to be getting the Fantastic Four that. I'd like to see him play Human Torch, although it probably won't happen because I think he's actually going to be playing uh, Adam Warlock in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. But if not, then uh, definitely him for Human Torch. Uh, as far as the, the thing, I'd either want John, my first pick would be John Cena or Dwayne Johnson. Um, I think Dwayne Johnson's actually in the talks for it. I don't know how true that is, I, but I've heard that. Um, but if, if not him, then John Cena. Um, um, I'm still I'm still stumped on who would be good to play Sue Storm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one on hold, and I might come back to it if I think of anybody. Um, then he asks, "What comic adaptation are you most excited for right now?" Uh, well. Um, I'm really excited for Wonder Woman 84 um, and the Joker. The next one that I'm the most excited for would be the Joker, I think. I'm also looking forward to the Birds of Prey movie and uh, Black Widow. I think both of those are out. I think Black Widow is out next year. I know Birds of Prey is. I'm looking forward to both of those. And he said, based on how much you enjoyed Toy Story 4, would you want to see a part 5 or a spin-off? Um, well, I, part 5, I don't, I don't really think so. I think that Toy Story 4 really ended, ended it the way it should be ended. As far as a spin-off, like, I'd be okay with them doing, like, more, uh, holiday specials like they did Toy Story of Terror and Toy Story that Time Forgot. I'd actually wouldn't mind seeing them do, like, a, another do some more holiday specials and stuff that I've had, there's actually one in particular that I would love to see them do but I don't want to talk about what I'd want to see them do yet because Toy Story 4 is still new and 
if I talk about it, it will kind of spoil the ending of the movie, so, uh, but yeah, um, as far as that goes, I just, I'd be okay with, like, little short Pixar shorts or, uh, holiday specials, but I, I don't think I'd really want any more toy, full Toy Story movies. I think, I think 4 ended it the way it needs to be ended, and then he put, or asked, what is your best and worst film of 2019 at the moment? Uh, best Toy Story 4 and worst Captive State. Next is from Lee from Lebo Man Review Stuff. Um, five favorite deserted island movies. I'm trying to think if I've seen five. Um, of course, Castaway. That would easily be number one. Um, Blue Lagoon. I like that one quite a bit. Um, I don't really know that I can think of any other ones. I'm stumped. Castaway, Blue Lagoon. Now I can't think. I don't think I can think of five. I'm sorry, Lee. Um, but yeah, Castaway and the Blue Lagoon, or the, oh, the Swiss Family Robinson from Disney. I, I like that one a lot. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess Rugrats Go Wild would maybe count. And. I can't think of anything else. Uh, but yeah, th those are the main ones that came to mind. Castaway, The Blue Lagoon, Swiss Family Robinson, and Rugrats Go Wild. Um, oh, and Six Day, Seven Nights uh, with Harrison Ford. Okay, so there is five. Yeah, I'd put Six Day, Seven Nights above. Uh, I'd actually put that as my second. So five would be, five would be Rugrats Go Wild. Four would be... Uh, six days, seven nights. Or no? Oh, what the heck? Castaways number one, two would be Swiss Family Robinson. Three, six days, seven nights. Four. Uh. Swiss Family Robinson and five Rugrats Go Wild, I guess. Um, but yeah. And uh, next is from my friend Rio. Uh, she said, What has been your best movie release this year based on acting, storyline, believability, etc.? Oh, that's, well. Like I've said before, Toy Story 4 is my favorite movie of the year. I think it has the best story and best character moments and stuff. It has, Woody has a really great arc in it and everything. But as far as acting goes in a movie, I think that would go to Zac Efron for Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. He was just absolutely wonderful as Ted Bundy and everything. Um, believability... Yeah, I think that too. I think I mean he was really believable as as Ted Bundy and everything. So as far as like that goes, I'd have to say that movie. But also Shazam as well. Uh, Zachary Levi really made you believe that he was a 14 year old kid in a hum in a not a human body, uh, in a adult's body and everything. His performance in that was really great too. So. Zac Efron and Zachary Levi, I think, have the two best performances of this year so far. Also, I do think that Tom Hanks' voice acting as Woody was great in this movie. And Toy Story 4 as well. Um, but yeah, so that's my answer to those questions. And this question is from Esley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews. He asked me if I could collab with anybody on my YouTube channel that I haven't collabed with before. Who would it be? Um, I actually have a few that I would love to collab with. Um, Lee from Dum uh, Drum Dumps, uh, Cody Leach, Derek from Derek's Horror Corner. We still haven't collabed yet. Uh, Devin from 
He isn't that Devin Graham. I'd like to collab with him sometime. Desmond from Desmond's Flicks. I think it'd be cool to collab with him sometime. Um, uh, and maybe my friend Julia from Girl and, and Three Cats. I think that's what her channel's called now. It used to be Girl and Two Cats, but she got a third cat. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd love to collab with all of them. And I think me and my friend Logan might be collabing next month on Quentin Tarantino movies. I look forward to collabing with him too. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's who all I'd like to collab with. Next is from Devin from hey, is it that Devin Graham? Uh, his question is, who's your favorite uh, who's your favorite horror movie director and what's your favorite movie of theirs? Um, that's a good one. Uh, I'd probably have to go with Wes Craven because I think he's the one I've seen the most out of on horror directors. I do like John Carpenter too, but I have to go with Wes Craven. My favorite movie is Nightmare on Elm Street. Also love the Scream movies and uh, I haven't seen a lot of his movies. The Last House on the Left was pretty good and People Under the Stairs I like those quite a bit but those are the main ones I can think of but my favorite one is Nightmare on Elm Street. And then uh, next is from Tyler. He asks What's your fa What's your least favorite Toy Story movie? I'd have to go with the first one. I, that's one of those series where I feel like each sequel got better as the series went on and everything. And it's nothing against the first one because they're all great movies. And I think all of them are like 10 out of 10 movies for me. It's just, if I had to say my least favorite, it would be the first one. And then next is from my friend Drew. He said, do you think they will need Captain America to return. Oh, like Steve Rogers? Um, I don't know. They might have him like as cameos and stuff, but I don't know that they'll have him as Captain America. It, I think it'd just be Steve Rogers as an old man and cameos. Um, I think Captain America will return like as the Falcon as Captain America, but I don't know. I mean, if who knows, maybe they will. Maybe they'll do an old Avengers movie or something where they have the characters as older people or something. That'd be kind of cool. And everything. These next questions are from Levi McNally. Uh, first question is, what made you start YouTube? I had been watching some different YouTube reviewers and stuff and thinking that looked really fun and everything. I had done a few movie reviews on Facebook and everything and they were fun but it was kind of getting tiring having to type them and everything I thought it'd just be easier to do videos on them and everything it took me a long time to get the get where I would be wanting to do videos but I finally started it and I got into it for a while and then I kind of stopped for a few months and then Esley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews started doing his, and when I started seeing his reviews and stuff, it made me remember how much fun it was doing them when I very first started, and I kind of started back up because of being inspired by him to start back up. And then uh, he said, what's your favorite movie genre? Um, oh, that's a tough one. I Ten years ago, I would have easily said comedy, but comedy's not as good as it used to be to me. There, there's still, I mean, I still like the old comedy stuff that I like, used to like a, a lot of it. I still like, but now, right now, I guess probably horror um, is the main one that I really like a lot. And I like superhero movies and action movies quite a bit too. Um, what movies do you find to be overrated? Um, not very many. Um, I think the Conjuring movie universe is kind of under, kind of overrated. If you want me to be honest, uh, I think they rely too much on jump scares and stuff. I just I'm not real crazy for them. But as far as other movies being overrated, I, not, I don't really know. There hasn't been. 
too awful many that I think are. Uh, what movies do you find to be underrated in your opinion? Oh, that, that is a totally different story. There are tons of movies I think are underrated. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. One that I think is the most in recent years, uh, one of them would probably be Justice League and Batman vs. Superman. I think both of those movies were pretty good and pretty underrated, especially uh, Justice League. Although I do think it could have been a lot better, and I can understand why people didn't like that one very much, I guess, but I still think it's underrated. And then he said, who's your favorite actor and actress? Um, favorite actor would be Robin Williams. Also, like Jim Carrey, Steve Martin, John Goodman, John Travolta, Tom Hanks. I like all of them a lot. And Johnny Depp. Um, favorite actress or actresses. Uh, that would be Reese Witherspoon is my favorite actress. Also, like Sandra Bullock a lot, and Kathy Bates, and uh, Sally Field, um, Emma Stone. Anne Hathaway, um, and then next is, who is your favorite film director? Uh, Steven Spielberg, easily. I just love all of his movies, especially Jaws and Jurassic Park. Um, Marvel or DC, who do I prefer? Oh, that's a tough one. Pro uh, I'm going to have to go with Marvel because I've seen more of their stuff and everything. I do love DC too though. I love them both, but I'm still kind of new to DC so I guess I'd have to say Marvel. Um, do you like uh, any other picks or movies besides the Toy Story films and what are your least favorite ones in your opinion? Uh, yeah, I love almost all the picks or movies. The only, one that I, only two that I don't absolutely love are the Good Dinosaur and Cars 2, and I do still like them, I just don't love them. Uh, but my favorite Pixar movie is actually Finding Nemo. Uh, but I do, I do like, uh, I do like The Good Dinosaur and Cars 2, they're just not my favorites. The Good Dinosaur is really forgettable, I don't really remember much about that movie except that it had a really beautiful animation, and uh, Cars 2 was just yeah, that's of course too. So, but yeah, that's yeah. Next one is from my friend Logan. Uh, he said, "What is your favorite movie of the year so far?" Um, Toy Story Four, easily. Uh, it was Avengers Endgame for it lasted almost two months, but uh, Toy Story Four topped it for me. Everything. These next four questions are from Big D from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Um, first one is, what are your five favorite DreamWorks animation films? Um, number one is Shrek. Uh, I know that for sure. Two is probably... Uh, I'd probably have to say Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Three monsters versus aliens, and four. Uh, eight shark tail, and five. How to train your dragon? I don't. I don't know. That that's a really tough question. I I really need to rewatch all of these DreamWorks movies because I haven't seen all of them in a long time, and there was a couple that I still haven't seen. But I know Shrek for sure would definitely be number one now. Um, next question is, who's your favorite country singer, male and female? Um, male would be Johnny Cash, and female, uh, I'd probably say Loretta Lynn. Uh, who's your favorite, or what's your favorite classic and current TV shows? Um, classic. I, I like a lot of the good classics, Brady Bunch, Good Times, um, Happy Days, Andy Griffith Show, all of those. I also like a lot of the uh, 90s classics like Full House, Safe by the Bell, Seventh Heaven, uh, 
that 70s show, Freaks and Geeks, stuff like that, but, and as far as current shows, I don't really watch very much TV, um, I like, uh, Mom, I think that's a pretty good show, and I like The Connors, um, which is a spinoff of Roseanne, which I, I liked, liked it better when it was Roseanne, but I do, do like The Connors, um, I, that's really, those are really the only shows that I've really seen much of that are newer ones. I've liked what I saw of Game of Thrones, but I haven't been able to catch up on it and everything. So, yeah, but those are, would be my favorite shows. And then he said, what's your favorite video game? Any genre? Um, well, my favorite video game of all time, although I don't play it near as much as I used to, is uh, Croc Legend of the Gobos. Uh, it's a PS1 game. And everything I still have it. And I play it every once in a while, but my my copy is getting worn out, so I haven't been able to play it very much in a long time. Um, I have a PS2 where I can play my PlayStation One games on, but so I have to say Croc. But I also like the original Crash Bandicoot game. I love that one a lot, and the Disney Tarzan game that you were talking about in your 1999 list and everything. So, uh, but yeah. Croc Legend of the Gobos is my favorite video game now. Next one is from Mickey. Um, he said, Who do you think will win in Godzilla vs. Kong? Um, probably Godzilla. Um, personally, I'd probably go for Kong, but I think Godzilla would be the one that would have more of a chance of winning. I think he seems to be more of a pop. Godzilla seems to be more of a popular character, and usually in these versus movies, the more popular one usually ends up as the winner and everything. Or they might just make it where neither one of them win, and it's just left for the audience to decide, like Freddy vs. Jason ended. So, it's hard to say. And then he also asked me, do you think there should be more Toy Story sequels, or leave it alone? I'm mixed on that. In a way, I would love to see more and everything because I love the characters and everything but this fourth movie really ended it really well so I don't I don't know that they should keep making more movies of them of the Toy Story movies I, I don't see what they can really do anyway but no, I don't know maybe these next three questions are from my friend Heather um, the first one she asked will you review and rank the Conjuring franchise, um, yeah, I'll do it at some point, uh, I need to, I don't have any of them, but my brother has most of them, so I'll try to get to them as quick as I can, I don't know when it'll be, probably, probably be a few months, but I'll get to them, um, and she said, do you think Tom Hanks will do good as Mr. Rogers? That, that's hard to say. More than likely, he will. He, he he's a really good act. He's one of the best actors out there. So, I think he could do it. Do a good job. It's just really hard to say. It's hard to picture him as Mr. Rogers. But I think if any actor could do it, it would be Tom Hanks. And he said, she said, if you could save one character from dying. Okay, this question has spoiler for Endgame. So if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, don't watch this part. Um, who, if you could stop one character from dying, who would it be? Logan from, or Wolverine from Logan, or Iron Man? Th that's a really tough question. But, seeing that the X-Men franchise is pretty much done anyway, I guess I'd have to say Iron Man. But, I don't know, it's just a tough question. And everything, so, uh... But yeah, so uh, I hope you like those answers, Heather. Okay, everybody, that's the end of the Q&A. Um, thank you to everybody who asked questions and everything. I hope I answered them the best that I could. Now, I'm sorry, Marcus, I couldn't figure out who I would, who I want to have cast. Or, wait a minute, I just thought about it. Uh, for, for Sue Storm, maybe... Uh, um, Amanda Seyfried, she might be good as Sue Storm in a Fantastic Four movie, although she is kind of young to be playing someone that's dating Keanu Reeves, so 
I don't know, but if, if well, he, he doesn't look that old anyway, so I guess it could work, but, uh, yeah, so, there's my, all my answers, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.